here's where Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will actually live. They're not moving out of Nottingham Cottage just yet. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle somehow kept the exact location of their honeymoon getaway a mystery. But that's not the only secret the newlyweds are hiding. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have kept everyone guessing where they'll actually live. Nottingham Cottage, York Cottage, the Cotswolds. Every day, it seems a tabloid is reporting that the world's most famous couple will move into yet another home. So what gives? Here's every place you might expect to find Prince Harry and Meghan Markle starting their married life, and whether those reports are actually legit. The rumor, Nottingham Cottage, nicknamed Not Cot, this grand two-bedroom home located on the grounds of Kensington Palace has already hosted the royals for more than two years. An official press release from the royal family also confirmed that they will live there after the wedding, but did not clarify for how long. Prince Harry first moved to Nottingham Cottage from Clarence House in 2012, and it's where he proposed to the Suits actress on a cozy night while making roast chicken. Neighbors Prince William, Kate Middleton, Princess Eugenie, and Jack Brooks Spank live only a few doors down and the young royals have also set up workspaces in other palace apartments. Fun fact, the cottage served as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's starter pad too before they upgraded to the 20-room apartment 1A on the other side of the complex. The rumor, apartment 1 at Kensington Palace, just like his brother, Prince Harry would apparently like a little more space for him and his new wife. The couple previously voiced their desire to have children, so the request wouldn't come as a surprise. One likely candidate. Apartment 1 at Kensington Palace. The 21-room suite sits directly adjacent to Prince William's house, and it's recently undergone renovations. Princess Michael of Kent, who also lives at Kensington Palace, further fueled the rumors when she speculated to Tatler magazine in 2014 that Prince Harry might go there. However, there's one key piece of information here. Someone else currently lives there. The Duke and Duchess of Gloucester have occupied the townhouse since their marriage in 1972 and while they apparently have another space lined up, the empty nesters haven't vacated quite yet. The rumor, York Cottage. While the Duke and Duchess of Sussex currently have their city apartment, any self-respecting royal also maintains a proper country home. Prince William and Kate Middleton received Anmer Hall in Norfolk as a wedding gift from the Queen and Prince Harry's grandmother may have given him a similar present. The monarch apparently picked out your cottage on the grounds of Sandringham Estate as a very generous way of saying congratulations. Also located in Norfolk, this home currently houses holiday visitors, as Sandringham remains the royal family's longtime Christmas vacation spot. York Cottage itself previously went by the name Bachelor's Cottage although the Duke of York, later King George V, and his wife Princess Mary once called it home in the late 19th century. A country house would provide a great spot for raising kids, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge lived at Anmer Hall when Prince George was born. However, Marlene Koenig of the blog Royal Musings points out that this particular home may pose some problems. It's reportedly lacking in privacy and hasn't permanently housed any members of royal family in years. The rumor, great too. Another country house is also in the mix. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex supposedly also signed a two-year lease for a home in the Cotswolds. According to an anonymous Us Weekly source, the home called Westfield Large is located about 90 minutes outside of London on the Great Two Estate. David and Victoria Beckham also maintain a rural getaway on the non-royal grounds. The couple's love for the Cotswolds spurred another rumor back in January. This time they were supposedly looking at Beaconsfield Farm, also on Grand Two. While it's definitely plausible Prince Harry and Meghan Markle love this patch of bucolic countryside, there's not much backing up this particular piece of information. The bottom line, all signs point to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex staying put in Nottingham Cottage for now. However, it's extremely likely they will later upgrade to a bigger apartment at Kensington Palace and add a weekend home into the mix as they plan on having children. As for specifics, the palace hasn't confirmed anything beyond that yet.